Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, founder and designer of NYTC by Taylor, or Not Your Grandma's Crochet. And we are currently making, we're not making, we're in our crochet maxi skirt era. It's honestly been a long time, no chat. It's currently March 1st. February was a very busy work month a lot of things that were like ending that i want to like really have a good end for and then a lot of things that were beginning that were requiring a little bit more attention and time and effort and stuff and so <laughs> crochet kind of ended up being the thing that got put on the back burner i did finish the first iteration of this maxi skirt but that's kind of it. I've had, I feel like, a lot of projects that are just kind of like in the air and have been in the air for maybe the past four-ish months. And I'm really looking forward to March being the month that I can, you know, better balance my business. I feel like I'm constantly talking about wanting to have better balance for my business and trying to figure out better ways to balance the work that I do, the social media s work that I do, and NYGC. And well, it's a constant process, but alas, it is March 1st and I'm going to get some things done this month, starting with this skirt. <laughs> As I said, I actually technically have already finished the first iteration of the skirt. Maybe I'll put a cute clip right here. Um, I really love it. I was going back and forth about whether or not I should make a second one just because uh, that skirt took me 54 hours, like 52, 54 hours. Um, <laughs> and that's a whole nother conversation that we can definitely have, but I was unsure if it was worth making another one. And I kind of decided, like, I really love the way it looked. I feel like it's starting to, like, bring this new aesthetic that I've been working on to life sort of situation. And I feel like it'll be a very wearable piece for me personally and hopefully being that it's a piece that excites me a lot. Hopefully it'll make me want to like post about it and like that type of thing. Cause I mean, ooh, the last time I took pictures for my business or for NYGC was November, taking a few pics for um, a website update that I did. And those pictures were like extremely rushed. <laughs> like extremely extremely rushed and so I wasn't really like proud of them I didn't really want to post them too much and I kind of had just like rushed the setup and everything so they're not everything I mean I love the pieces themselves but the photos just they didn't really slay <laughs> so ever since then I've just kind of been not really wanting to like get in front of the camera in that way like vlogging i have no issue with filming progress updates for tiktok no issue with but actually like trying to get creative and like setting up to take photos i can't do it and the first piece that's making me be like "Ooh, wouldn't it be so fun if i like get cool photos of this has been that maxi skirt which is exciting especially because I mean the hope is that this maxi skirt will form my spring slash summer collection <laughs> um, but yeah so once I kind of like finished up that skirt I think I finished it last weekend maybe something like that it took me it, it took a while but I think I finished it last weekend and when I finished it, like, I was just so excited to post about it. Um, like I said, I've just been getting, like, really low effort progress updates, like, progress videos of 
the skirt but even just those like even though I don't necessarily feel like I look the best personally in them I still was so excited to like actually share about it and that's been something that I've been really missing <laughs> um like an aspect of my business that I've been really missing that's extremely important I say all that to say that initially I wasn't going to make a second iteration of the skirt especially since I had already timed that the pink project the only reason I typically make duplicates is in order to time it but when I feel like 54 hours is like maybe a little insane <laughs> Like, I would really like it to be under 50 hours, and so by doing the second one, I'm hoping that maybe I can time it a little bit more accurately. Because, I mean, there's always times where, like, accidentally the time of running, I fall asleep. Not, like, for, like, long stretches of time, but, like, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. So, I'm hoping that this time around, timing the skirt, I can get the time under 50 hours. I'm also really hoping that with the amount of yarn that I have <laughs> um, that I can hopefully make like a matching top or something like that. That was another issue with the pink skirt, the first sample. I only had six skeins of the yarn that I used and I actually thought I only had five skeins for the longest but I think really found the stick skein one random night when I was just chit-chatting on live TikTok live that is but um I I only had six skeins this is literally how much I had left right here it's probably less than 50 yards of yarn <laughs> and I started to like when I got to like when I finished off the fifth skein, or when I was almost done with the fifth skein, I started to panic that I wouldn't have enough yarn. And so I started cutting things short and stuff. And the goal was to have something that touched the floor. Like I want the skirt to be on the floor. But when I start to like panic that I wouldn't have enough yarn to finish it, then I was just kind of like, oh, let's just hope and pray that it stretches out. I haven't tried it on since I, washed it it looked like it maybe got a little bit longer but it's still probably like three inches short away from touching the floor now my boyfriend is kind of like why would you want it to touch the floor because like you don't want it to get dirty or whatever and I definitely hear that I do but it just is kind of like the trauma I guess <laughs> of elementary school and like people roasting you for like high waters and stuff like that obviously that's more of like a pants thing but I apply it to skirts too and as you'll see as I'm working on this or from the video the skirt has a slit like a pretty a decently long slit in the back and I just feel like the slit ends weird with it like not being on the ground I don't know I don't know still figuring that out the yarn that I'm using now is actually from a past, past, past project. I'll put it here. Um, I believe it was the summer of 2021. I released a swim collection, not necessarily in the summer, more so in August, big flop, but <laughs> I did release a collection. It was a ginormous collection, like one, two, three, four, five bikinis um two matching sets a like beachy cardigan sort of situation and these like beachy mesh pants and I used this yarn for that collection um and then I kind of like didn't love it so then I unraveled it and now it's getting a second life which is always the best thing and I think this yarn is slightly different than the original yarn that I used, um, so my time might be, like, the timing of it might be a little bit weird, but on the plus side, I think it will be just enough for me to make a matching top of some sort. That's probably another thing that I've been really struggling with recently, it's just, like, wearability of 
crochet pieces, specifically the crochet pieces that I'm making. I feel like there's a lot of pieces, crochet and knit pieces, honestly, on the market that are like see more on like the see-through side very artfully done like very 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 beautifully done but that's just not necessarily like when i'm deciding what i want to wear if something is going to be like see-through showing more like if i have to do a lot of work to make something cover up what i need covered up i'm just not gonna wear it <laughs> And so I really want to figure out a top that can go with the skirt that's not just like a bikini top. I mean like I could always do that like a bralette bikini top situation but I would want it to be like something that I would actually put on even if it's like super backless. That's a weird thing about me. I will wear like if the front is covered I'm Gucci. My back can be out who cares but if the front is covered I'm wearing it. So anywho, <laughs> that's my ramblings. Um, we definitely have a lot, a lot to go. We are currently about 11 rows in. And I'll probably see you when we get more to like mini skirt length. Yeah. <laughs> but very fun chatting and let's see how long, how many days this actually takes me. Like I said, today is March 1st. I started this on, um, not yesterday, but the day before. So like February 28th. So we're about three days in. But I've only been putting like two hours in a day. Does that kind of depress me that this is what four to six hours of work looks like? Yes. But I'm going to choose not to think about that right now. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> It is currently June, June 9th at 9.36 p.m. <laughs> My birthday is June 11th, which is in less than two days. And I will be the first to admit life is, life is lifing. But regardless, I have a tradition, okay? where I attempt to make something for my birthday. This has been my tradition since 2019. <laughs> this has been my tradition since 2019. And I currently have a few different things in progress for the collection, but the thing that I'm most excited about is the yellow skirt, the namesake of this video. So, I'm going to try my hardest in the next basically day to finish this skirt. Wish me luck. Okay. Honestly, I keep looking out the window. Honestly, there's not that much left. Once I get through the mini skirt portion, and I'm just mostly doing mesh, it's gonna breeze by. So my goal tonight is to get to the to get to the mesh. If I can get to the mesh tonight, there's hope. We'll see. <laughs> Yesterday was my birthday. Today was the next day. Today is the next day. And let me show you the progress that was made on the skirt. Do you remember, like, um, when I said that I was going to try to complete this skirt in time for my birthday on June 11th? Do you remember when I said that? I'm so funny. It is Saturday, July 6th. And now is the time that I can finally complete this skirt and hopefully make at the bare minimum a matching top, if not also a matching bikini issue. I have one week 
before I leave for Hawaii. So once again, we have another crunch time sort of situation, but just imagine, you know, flower in my hair. I'm on a beach in Honolulu with my beautiful maxi skirt, with my beautiful tube top situation, with my Thai bikini top, kind of like intentionally being showcased from the bandeau. Um, and maybe my hair is like up. We have to make that happen and we have a week to do it. Now that I feel like I've gotten through the hard part, you know, the mini skirt full the mini skirt full double crochetness of it all. Now we're entering mesh island. <laughs> you know how they talk about like sleep island. Anyways, anyways. Honestly, it's not even Mesh Island because I like Mesh. Mesh City, okay? Where we can go a lot faster and get a lot more done. You might be looking at this like, Taylor, that's a concern about a yarn. I do also have this. So there's no reason why, at the bare minimum, I cannot get the maxi skirt done as well as the tube top sort of situation. I actually need to head on the road. You will see me next in another location, but just know I'm committed this week to getting this puppy done. I'll see you when I've gotten some mesh done. Hi, I'm currently in LA, headed to Hawaii. It's been pretty much exactly a week since I last updated, and this is my progress. I'm almost done with this little first mesh section, but I still have a fair amount to go, and I'm almost done with my first little bit of yarn, but I still had a little bit that I just unraveled from this scheme, so we're not quite on the second scheme. It is. I'm hoping to wear this outfit to a luau on Monday. And today is Saturday. And yes, I said out. We'll see. It may or may not be <clears throat> a few days later. I may or may not also be back in my apartment. And I may or may not have completed the skirt. Hawaii was a lot. It was amazing. It was, if you've never been to Hawaii before, this is your sign to go. What I would not recommend, <clears throat> crocheting on the 17th floor balcony. Enter video. This is your sign to maybe not crochet outside on the 17th floor while you're in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. You're probably wondering, how do you plan on saving it? My only option, I tried to like pull it all up. My only option was to snap it in half and hope that I can find it. It did in fact spread across the entire bottom of the building, but I have hope. So anywho, would not recommend crocheting on the 17th floor balcony. Well, just make sure you have a good setup. I didn't have a good setup. What happened was I was doing really well with it. You know, I had my situation where my phone was on my like pouch that had my yarn and it was all good. Where things went awry, I realized I had crocheted a bit too much so I was going into unravel and in unraveling I had to expose my little yarn ball and suddenly the wind decided it was time to sweep my yarn ball off of the balcony so 
We all learn our lessons. I'm glad I was able to recover her. And let me show you the state of this script. Why did I, why did I lower it? That didn't make, that didn't really make sense, did it? Okay, so currently it's very much so giving pencil skirt, you know? This could be somebody's vibe, it's not particularly my vibe, but I literally love, I love this fit. It's like hugging very nicely. Um, some details, last night I did go in and add the like banding for where the, I will eventually put a tie in. I have now done my first full double crochet panel and my first mesh panel. <clears throat> After this, I will be splitting so it has a slit in the back just to make it easy to walk because if I did not put that slit back there, this would be the walk. And nobody wants to do that. So it's primed for my back slit and yeah. So far, so good. Currently, I still haven't touched this and I have the tiniest little ball of the original mount. So I'm feeling good that I'll definitely be able to finish the skirt and we'll see what else. But all's going well. Anywho, I never said today. Today is Friday the 19th. It's currently... 12:36 p.m. I would 100% love to be done with at least the skirt by the end of the weekend. Um and I'm feeling very motivated to get it done. So, let's see. I now have no other occasion, at least in the near future, that is calling for me to finish it besides the state of me potentially being able to release this collection, which is very much so up in the air. I will not lie. It's up in the air. But we'll see. <laughs> it is Saturday, July 20th. It's like 6.58 p.m. And I've been working for like, I don't know, the past three-ish hours to make some progress. Currently, I am working on the next tier of double crochets. And I just finished one full skein of this Bernay Baby Sport pros and cons. This is a really good yarn if you are trying to play around with a weight three yarn. Let me see. This is classified, yeah, this is classified as a weight three yarn. I would say it definitely gives weight three sport weight type vibes. It's not the softest, like it doesn't feel buttery soft, but it also doesn't feel rough. It's very much just kind of like a very basic yarn feel and also is acrylic. But like I said, if you're trying to like dip your toes into smaller weight yarns, this is a good option. Um, I purchased this from Walmart, but they're definitely available at Joann's, if not also Michael's. So, one skein got me, honestly, probably about two-thirds of the skirt. I have another big mesh panel to do, a slightly smaller mesh panel to do, and then a really small double crochet panel to do. I brought the OG pink version over with me this was made with a different yarn actually so this one like i said is the Brene baby sport in the color baby yellow Brene baby sport in the color baby yellow and then this is actually paint box simply dk which is slightly smaller like it's still a weight three yarn but i would say dk is at least this paint box dk is slightly thinner of a strand than the Brene baby sport but anyways this is paint box simply dk in the color dusty no ballet pink 
Paintbox is my preferred yarn brand. When I use up all of my yarn, eventually I'll be switching to only Paintbox. Pros, they have the best color selection that I've found. Um, and that color selection ranges among their different weights. So whether I'm doing Simply DK or Simply Erin, even Simply Chunky to a certain extent, I can use pretty much all the same colors. Con, they're exclusively online, which is a little bit annoying. Supposedly you can get the cotton version from Amazon that's still online but like slightly faster shipping. I haven't tried that yet. I would probably continue to just buy it from like lovecrafts.com because I try not to shop on Amazon when I don't have to. Anyways, the reason why I pulled out the- I mean like literally love her. I love her. If I could just spend my days making these maxi skirts, I would and I just might. Anyways, I pulled it out because I need to double check my math. I'm currently at nine rows of double crochet, I think. One, two, three, four, five, and I need 12. So three more to go on her, but this is inside out. Anyways, she looks so good. I did make a couple of adjustments in like this hip area. Mostly in the fact that, I don't know if you'll really be able to see, in like the base skirt, I did a row or a section of regular double, how do I want to say this? I decreased for a bit and then I did a few rows. How did I do that? I switched it up essentially to where once I started decreasing, I just kept decreasing because it was like kind of weird where like I think initially I had a few decreases in this mesh panel or like there was something was happening here. I don't remember. Anyways, <laughs> we'll see how much more progress I make tonight. Um, like I said, it's only like 630 ish. The world is my oyster and I definitely want to knock out as much of this mesh panel as humanly possible so okay it's a few days later it's currently Tuesday July 30th at like three o'clock and I just finished the base of the skirt so this is where we're at. It's literally like the perfect length. I've like gotten the slit in, so it's very easy to walk in. I would say it's very comfortable. This is honestly one of my top designs right now. It's probably definitely gonna be one of my top designs from the year just because I really like how comfortable it is. I really like how easy it is to style and yeah, I don't know. I just have been craving it in like a thousand and one different colors. We'll see how many I end up with by the end of the year. But um, pretty much it's like mostly done. Like I said, the base, I just have to go in and add the detail bits, which are the tie for this little faux waistband and him the bottom just so it looks nice and finished. I did make this one like half an inch longer than the pink one, but in the end, I decided to not have it fully touch the ground just because there is something to be said about how it is a lot more walkable and wearable and stuff and I don't necessarily want to get my crochet dirty and I do like wearing the skirt casually. If this was more of like a formal situation, I probably would one on the ground. But anywho, this is how much yarn I currently have. Definitely plenty to finish what I need to get done, but <laughs> in terms of the extras I wanted to do, well, that's questionable. But I'll see you when this has a tie and him. 
it is officially August 1st. It's just about 3 o'clock p.m. And I am done with the skirt. I will try it on. But I just want to, like, talk about it a little bit just because I feel like in this being my seventh year crocheting, I've obviously gone through many different style aesthetics. I've definitely improved my craft quite a bit. And I really feel like this skirt is kind of just like one of those pieces for me that I can really see my quality and style kind of develop like especially in terms of having this nice cool enclosed waistband the tie is really cute and functional it's also like on the thicker side so you know whatever my like stitching i mean come on it looks like fabric like it is not see-through in the slightest except for in the places that I actually want it to be see-through. And even in that, I'm so happy to have figured out a sort of mesh situation between the way I do it and the hook size that I'm using that is very clearly see-through, but it's not like super in your face, like netted, something like that. And last but not least, honestly, just like, this is like 41 to 42 inches of straight crochet. I'm going to give you five seconds to guess how long you think it took me to make this. And I'm going to take a thumbnail. Okay, it took me right under 54 hours to make this skirt. To make the pink one, it took me like a little bit over 54 hours and to make this yellow one it took me just under 54 hours so I can um, safely assume that to make one of these crochet maxi skirts it does kind of fluctuate ever so slightly based on your size and length but for the most part anywhere between 50 to 56 hours which is <laughs> a lot of time to spend on an item of clothing. I've literally been working on this skirt on and off. Very, very much on and off. But I've been working on this skirt since April. I'll put the date here, but I started this sometime in April. So I could definitely do this in like, I don't really have the attention span to do it in a week. But I feel like I could safely do it in two weeks. But regardless, however I decide to space the time, knowing that for my size and my height, it's going to take me 54 hours. It's like a really interesting feeling, to be honest with you. Like on one side, it's it's really cool to know that like this is a testament to like time and talent. And on the other side, it does just continuously reaffirm this active choice that I'm deciding to do with my crochet. I feel like at the beginning of this little process video, you kind of saw my reactions to being a little bit disappointed with other people's reactions to seeing the price of my crochet pants. While completely fair, I completely understand that even as a crocheter myself, it does oftentimes shock me when I realize how much I would actually have to charge for something. I don't mean that, or I don't think that just because, just because the price is shocking doesn't mean that you don't have to charge it, if you get what I mean. Like, just because um, I know that this took me 54 hours and so, I can't really do quick math, but that's probably somewhere around $500. Do I love the idea that I have to price this skirt for $500 as a consumer? No. But thinking realistically about the fact that 50 to 56 hours, regardless of what the fluctuations look like, then yeah. 500 to 600 ish dollars maybe even 700 i can't do quick math like that 
<laughs> but I do feel like for the right person, for a person who is looking for to consciously consume goods, made to order products, made to measure products at that, that price is meant for someone and if no one ever ends up buying this skirt purchasing this skirt then i'm happy to now have two in my collection and honestly <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the year i have another one because i'm literally that obsessed but okay i've been blabbering on let's try her on i fear i Eight. I just need a minute. I just need a minute. When I tell you this fits me like an actual glove, like, like I, I don't know where. Like, do you see the movement? Stiff crochet wear. Where is the stiff crochet in question? <clears throat> All I have to say is I ate. I mean, Do you see the movement? What, what, what can anyone possibly say? This is what I hear when people are like, oh, your prices are too high. Your crochet is not even quality. This is all I hear. Just want, want, want. Please stop, stop with the nonsense. Let's do it in the back. Let's appreciate the slit, okay? For easy walking, because we do love a mobility aware queen. Immediately stop the presses, immediately. So anyways, um, my ego just inflated by at least 10%. Um, <clears throat> if you want to talk to me, uh, just look in the sky because I am officially a cloud floating. Wow. I haven't like actually looked at myself in the mirror. Wow. <laughs> And honestly, the length is perfect. Like I mentioned that I do go back and forth about whether or not I would want this to actually touch the ground. But low key, I feel like this is good. Even with my little platform sandals, I doubt I would actually wear heels with this. But even if I were to wear heels, it would still be a great length. And Okay, that's all I have to say. Anywho, if you want to see my ego get inflated even more, I'm just kidding. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I know that I've been very much so inconsistent. Hopefully my inconsistent era is coming to a close sometime soon. That's the hope. But if you like to see me semi more consistently make sure you follow me on instagram and tiktok at nygc by taylor i do have plans to eventually put this as well as the other things i've been making this summer on my website as things would have it <laughs> it is turning less into a summer collection and more into just an overall 2024 collection portfolio type of vibe so when it will be on the website i don't know but a thousand percent 
at some time in the near future she will be listed so thank you so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you think about the skirt did my ego inflate too much is there anything that you would change what color would you like to see it what color would you like to see me make it in next and yeah bye guys